find the kill. He's going to get the one and maybe he could have had the dink, but Sir going to be walking in and the rifles are all gone, including that AWP and Tyloo answering back in the third round. That is... I forgot to say, that's huge with the Chinese team, surely. You have to imagine that's going to be... I think, I think Summer managed to... Like, he shoulder peaked Ethan and taking a couple of shots. And I actually thought he was just going to fight him right then and there. Wow, again with the Deagles. This time it's Freeman. I think it was Bented the last time around, but that's impressive. Three versus four, and if they could somehow steal this right away, but that would be something. Ethan goes down, and there's the follow-up. EG ready to take that straight-up fight in the middle, and they get downed by the Chinese D now. Like... Bomb can't be first, it can't be alone. Is that roughly... Ooh! Ooh what's Sun up, getting one of the follow-up as well. That is... That's some firepower coming out of him. Yeah, he's having a good game so far, quite obviously. And again, here we go. Attempt number 372 for Summer. Just marching out of Palace with no utility. And this time, it's a success. But he didn't know Stanislaw was still lying in wait in the silenced M4. Bentet doesn't get the, uh, the communication in time. And he's dropped. So somebody takes one to the face. Yes, you look like you want to say something. I just, I just wanted to express my appreciation for uh, for Circus and Orko. Like I, <laughs> I just actually just really. We took a hard loss yesterday. Let's forget about it. Let's just frag. Let's just you know play this by intuition. Let's play this by the seat of our pants. Let's not worry so much about countering what Tyloo is going to do because we know it's going to be a little bit crazy. Yeah. So why don't we just you know. Just use our skill, straight up win this game. Tarek's got a chance for a huge round. And Ethan's got a chance for a huge flank if this fails. Some good spray, actually tracing him as he's Ooh. falling down and doubling over that headshot. Tarek taking down Summer and Bentet. That's some very, very powerful play. Taking down Summer and Bentet. That's some very, very powerful plays coming out of him defensively. And Cirque now showing up with the AWP and he's just cornering him. He's saying, oh, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, he could have probably held him in that corner, but attacker somehow very quick with the AK-47, even trying to follow that up. Ethan on the flank, not making that work either. And now it's on Breeze, and he's going to go down. That's a very unlikely round for Tyler to win. I'm I'm surprised they managed to make that work. Did I mean, that's the second time they've won with mostly Deagles. Remember that round yeah. in the middle they had with the Deagles where EG all came to challenge? And this one, uh, I mean, a, a four on five for EG, considering Bentec got that pick early on. But still, it was a Krieg and four Deagles. And Tarek got three kills coming out of B-Halls for this walkthrough. A little bit of a tap on the edge of the wall. Don't know if they actually saw him. I don't think so. He's right in between, and he could easily take down Freeman on the other side. He, he just wishes he could find that player right there. Cirque getting the kill, but now what do you do? He doesn't have a smoke or anything. He's going to have to take the straight-up fight against Summer. He's going to tap the bomb and just hold it in, not even try and fake it. And Summer goes for the fight, and oh! That is a defuse straight up. They win that 10th round, EG, and that, you know, getting a couple of kills. That is not going to work out well. Like, the, the rotation to actually get to B is going to be, uh, it's going to take a while. Well, one smoke and one flash on Stanislaw, who's over at A. So you have to imagine this, ooh, I thought it was going to be a fake with the B bomb site being hit. I was curious to see how Ty Lu kind of managed it, but they've all gone down underpass just at the moment when somebody starts to push up. So that's going to allow Summer to stay. Doesn't have to cheat over towards Market because he knows no one's coming to this B bomb site. There's the smoke. And Summer... In a lot of danger, though, he doesn't realize that he spotted them all. There is a player watching for this peak on the EG side of things. Big win for Summer, but they're already making their way into the A bomb site. And he's just running up behind them. He's not even worried that they might turn around, and oh. he's going to be doubling that up. Oh my god, all of them headshots nearly gets the ace. Summer with a quad kill, man. That was. <laughs> that was beautifully aggressive. Even a hint of a smile on Bentet. That is a great pistol round. He did not slow down even a little bit. Here's how you could have thought of this round if you were Summer. You could have thought, okay, we've got to peer towards towards the murder hole because they don't have any intel in mid. They have no players there. Nice shot from Summer. This is the most information they have. He's going to keep peeking that. You have to feel. Taking a big risk in his teammates, covering him, but it's working so far. Two openings for Summer with the up and a wow. third on top of it. Jumping onto the ticket booth, and Ethan has got to be scared wide out in the open. It's getting absolutely picked apart in the middle. That's a very fast AWP. I would like Ooh. to see it again, just jumping up on the box. That's not easy. You, you, I mean, you do have a bit of a disadvantage. Quad kill for him, down to three health. And that's going to tie up the scoreline. We're at 10-10 now. Tyloo making a sizable comeback, especially if you count the, uh, the rounds at the end of that first half. I like what I'm seeing out of the op so far in summer. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. 
Some of these follow-up shots. I guess maybe they just didn't expect him to stick around. Obviously, he delayed it. He delayed that repeat just long enough. Triple grenade into the mid window at the beginning of the round for EG. Didn't really net them anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. The balls on these guys. It is amazing, isn't it? Terry just wanted to pretend, just wanted to keep somebody there, but not even going to be possible. Though, the Deagles answer back for EG. Breezy and a late headshot there. So it's still a three on three. And they're all trying to retake from the same position in the middle here. Stanislaw eating a bit of a grenade, but that picked up a WP on Sirk, and he's got some magic of his own. Attacker and somebody now. Two versus three. And that bomb down and ticking for a little bit now. Breeze coming with a flank from the murder hole. He's already behind them. He'll take down somebody. And this is devastating. And once again for Tyler, you've got to feel this is one of those rounds where they, they probably felt like they had a very, very good shot at doing it. They called Tarek on that early play. They know what's coming and it's not enough. No, that I mean, that, that's crushing even just to watch for me. I thought certainly they had it in their favor as well. They're going to have to reinvest. They've had the early success. Maybe we could do it, four and a three, but the thing they always forget is the time that's left. Like, a, a second delay right here, and you lose the round anyway. The flashbang does nothing, and Ethan, he's so clean on point. A beautiful triple for him in the round, and now it's a one versus two. And they're on the bomb, actually. Maybe they could do it, still defusing, but he sees it! And all the rifles are gone, and EG will win the round anyway here. Nine to two. As in fair play, they almost made it work. I don't know how, but that second one. Flicking that deagle around curving the bullet like it wanted.